here's here's me getting real deep in this deep discussion. So guys, don't even be like, don't even be salty towards me when I tell you that I just kind of discovered Odd Future. I've heard of them like, you know, years ago, but like I just actually sat down and like listened to some of their music and stuff. And like, I really, really enjoy it, but I'm so late. <laughs> but like, honestly, I'm so picky. I'm so picky with my music. like. I'll listen to any and every genre pretty much like I used to be really into dubstep I used to be really into like you know blood on the dance floor even and like paramore and like I like you know country music sometimes it's very calming I love indie music I love that stuff um, I love hip-hop and R&B obviously rap you know that type of jazz <laughs> I like jazz music. I can listen to some jazz music. Like, I can listen to pretty much any kind of music. I just am picky about not even just artists. Like, finding a new artist for me. Like, actually, I'm not that picky about it, I guess, anymore. I used to be more picky about my artists, but like, I'm really picky about the particular song because I feel like very few artists continue to consistently put out songs that are just like amazing every time like Drake is doing that right now I really appreciate that thank you like my ears love Drake <laughs> Drake is amazing anyway um, who else does that like Odd Future a lot of the songs that I'm listening that I'm listening to even though they're old I'm just saying like a lot of them I like you know like whereas a lot of other artists like I'll just like some of their songs you know like Oh, I listen to some of their songs, but I don't, I don't just go like, oh, so-and-so put out a new album and then download it. Like, I don't really do that because I just feel like, why am I going to pay $15 for somebody's whole album and I only like one or two songs from it? Like, and then, like, I can't make myself like stuff. I just have to like it. <laughs> I mean, I could, but like. No, I just rather just like it because, you know, anyway, I just wanted to share that like really crazy news about how I just pretty much discovered Odd Future. I know it's crazy. Some of that music just so I can, you know, be living my life right now while I'm talking to you guys. Other music also because like it's very creative like I don't know I just love it's smart like I like smart guys smart people you know what I mean like I like people who just like smart and by that like I don't mean like you have good grades you like you know what I mean I don't even necessarily mean that you've traveled everywhere because I feel like you can travel the whole world and still somehow lack culture in your soul like I don't know how but un momento por favor I'm here and there with the Spanish I made it to Spanish what AP Spanish for but then when I um, went to online schooling all, like I didn't have that so I didn't finish it but I didn't have to okay guys I put on some creation <laughs> Like, that's what I'm going with for it right now. I don't even think I remember what I was talking about because I was so into looking for a song just now. I was really, like, doing my best not to get sidetracked, but honestly, in the end, I don't remember what it was that I was talking about. Oh, I love smart people. Like, I love, I just like people who just know and, like, and, and like, discover and, like, want to know about the, like, the universe like they understand the flow of like what life really is in that you don't know what it is like you don't really understand anything but you're like i like like how it's like you're almost compelled to like be interested in chasing to find that meaning of like what the heck life is but 
You probably can't get there. I mean, even though you want to try. But anyway, that's like, like it's just like a certain kind of smartness. But I probably just sound crazy. <laughs> I mean, we're all kind of like poo poo. Let's be honest here. Yeah, I just really like Odd Futures music. Um, I also like Chance the Rapper. But I only really <laughs> listen to Acid Rap and Acid Rap the. It's not really a part two, but it's one that they made on YouTube or something like that. Like some other random songs or whatever that I were probably like unreleased or something, but um, I like those two. I feel like there's like a little tracer thing on my camera thing and like when it goes over my eyebrows, like it makes me look like I have no eyebrows and I'm like, what the heck? I Hi. <laughs> so I'm 17. Um, I'm not, I'm not any longer a senior because I couldn't do high school anymore. It was like just not my thing. Like if you want me to describe to you right now like what my high school experience was, like okay. So sophomore year I, I mean wow. Freshman year, I, um, I like skipped all year. Okay, freshman year, I was like, um, I like, in terms of like finding new friends and stuff like that, like, I didn't go to the high school that was necessarily like that I was supposed to, but I, I kind of had options, so I just went with whatever one that I was like, I'm not gonna see that many people from my middle school because I just. That's a whole different thing that nobody even cares about anymore. <laughs> but I was just like, I want to go to a high school that's kind of like, you know. So I did, actually. I was very successful in that move, and I'm very proud of myself. Um, yeah, didn't take a whole lot of big decisions. I, I just, like, when I really don't like the vibe of something, like, I really will do my best to not be near it. <laughs> like, I promise. So anyway, I was like, whatever, but some of my friends from my middle school that, like, there were these girls that I was, like, friends with in middle school, whatever, friends with, and, um, like, I hung out with them and stuff. Well, I guess we kind of were friends. I mean, sure, we're friends in middle school. We were. And, um, they, like, also kind of went to a different high school with me. And so, and a couple, like, a couple kids here and there actually also went to this school. And this is not prejudice to anybody, but just because the world is so sensitive nowadays, like, for no reason, I don't understand why, it's like, please, anyway, and, and this will probably be close to my last disclaimer that you'll see me make on this channel because I'm a human being and, like, you know, when things affect you, you have to understand that it's you who chose to be affected. Like, I didn't make you, okay? You chose to be. So when somebody does something and it doesn't feel nice, like, like, unless they do it to you physically, obviously that's a whole different thing, but like, if somebody does something and it makes you feel a certain way, like when people have to say, I'm not bragging because other people felt jealous, like, that's your problem that you felt jealous. It's not their problem that they worked hard or their parents worked hard to, you know, help them have a beautiful life like they were blessed that way like now go get your own you know what i'm saying but anyway that's a whole 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 different video i was like kind of like i feel like i got really ghetto for a second <laughs> when i was saying that whole thing like i'm like this and i'm like ready to snatch edges and everything but i i don't do that i'm like a very peaceful peaceful but debative like i or com combative not combative. I like to debate things, so I'm kind of like aggressive, aggressive when I'm conversing with someone, but like, other than that, I'm like really nice and I'm really fun. Like, I like to talk a lot also, if you haven't noticed, so it's like hard for me right now to keep up with the amount of words that is coming out of my mouth and also stay on track because I feel like I'm talking to this camera and for some reason it's like almost distracting which is weird but anyway because it's like my objective really into like being Hispanic um, <laughs> like and I mean that like in a way where I love 
And I still do really love Hispanic people. Like, I think that the culture is just so gorgeous. Like, um, and that's like ranging through all, all of the like different countries and stuff like that, that of like South America. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I know I sound really like not that smart, but that's okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so I really want to be Hispanic. So I have like a lot of Hispanic friends and like, I would like be like, you know, um, like trying to speak Spanish and stuff. Not trying, like I, I speak Personally, I pronounce Spanish words well. Anyway, I was like trying to be all hit, like specifically Mexican because where I live, that's the specific, you know, Hispanic culture that is more prominent. So I was like trying to be, you know, Mexican, <laughs> like really, like I liked Mexican boys and I still think Mexican, you know, guys and other Hispanic guys are attractive. I'm open to all races, obviously. I'm more picky about who the person is, like, you get what I'm saying, so. Yeah, I was also, like, signed, like, trying to be a gangster, like, <laughs> like, I wasn't really being, like, doing gangster stuff, but, like, I was, like, kind of like I had that like you know like that kind of swag and like or at least I was trying to and I would listen to a lot of Tupac and Biggie and like rap and like don't even ask me why but first like seriously I really was trying to be like so like like hip-hop and and like I don't even know like I was trying to be down I was trying to do something and I don't know why but like my freshman year kind of consisted of that and um my sophomore year i was like kind of the same ish but i think my sophomore year no i don't know my sophomore year was like different because like when you're a freshman you're still kind of like in middle school and you're new you're fresh but you're still kind of the same person you were not really like you've grown obviously you've grown but like you're not there, you know what I'm saying? So sophomore year is, you know, I started to be a little more like, I'm growing up still, so I grew a little more and I kind of didn't, um, like in the very beginning of the year, I hung out with the same people, you know, and I kind of did kind of hang out with the same people mostly and stuff like that. Oh, I also had a best friend, oh my god, me. Um, I also picked up some other really good friends along the way in sophomore year, actually. I became best friends with this girl, Brittany, and stuff, and I had a really good time sophomore year. And now I remember it hits me. I had a really bomb sophomore year, like, for reals. Like, if I could say which years did I have the most fun in high school, and it's so weird because I feel like it's the opposite for so many people, but honestly, my freshman and sophomore year were my best years because my freshman year, I just had a lot of friends, and I just like like I just feel like I talked to a lot of different people, like a variety of people, and because of that, like I had like a lot of inside jokes and stuff. I just feel like I, I had a lot of fun, like all around like I don't know if that, I don't know what I'm saying yeah but like I really enjoyed freshman year for that and then for sophomore year like I really feel like um I had like free periods and like I kind of feel like I did my senior year my sophomore year because I had a free period I had like I didn't do a sport I just like I like I don't know hung out a lot and stuff like I don't know that's what I feel like and then my junior year like I said I was just kind of over it like I was like um like I was starting to it wasn't so drastic like I just started to kind of like oh like I'm not gonna go hang out with these people like you know how you kind of go to a designated I don't know if you get like you know how in high school, like your high school is obviously not a college campus, like <laughs> it's a high school, so you only have so many places to go. And a lot of people go to the same areas every single day and I was kind of really over going to go hang out in the same spot every single day of my life. I was like, I'm not gonna do that, like it's just too basic at that point. So I was like, okay, well, 
I'm gonna go hang out like in my teacher's classroom. So I would hang out with this really cool teacher. Yeah, so I would just like hang out in my teacher's classroom and then also I volunteered in my like school library and like I would hang out around the library and stuff. It's pretty chill and stuff like that. And I just kind of like hung out by myself. I didn't, I was like, I was really depressed going to high school and attending high school every day. I was like, it's, there's nothing here for me. Like there's not a reason that I could find for me to stay there like at all. Like I had friends and I even had, you know, whatever, a crush and I had like, you know, you know, I was like, ooh, school, you know, education, and oh my gosh, you know what I mean? But like, then junior year was like, I learned, like I already, like I was taking extra classes that I just really did not need to take. Like, what was I in pre-calculus, -cal pre first of all, which was like really hard, okay, that's all. But I didn't need to take it. Like I had enough math, I had enough credits pretty much, and I just needed to finish up whatever last credits I needed to finish up or whatever. And like, I didn't have anything by then, so like that I that was connecting me to still have to go to this place. It was just miserable for me. So I was like, like my mom is very supportive, so I was kind of talking with her about it as well. Like I really want to do online schooling and stuff like that. So I kind of, but I what I'm saying is I kind of did everything myself. Like I went online, I researched it, like I figured out how to do it. So I just kind of like, knew that from acting, like whenever we're, well, you know, like when you're acting and you're in school as a kid, you have to do school on set. Like you don't just get to miss school and like miss school. Like some of those set teachers are like really like for reals. But anyway, we used to have to do school and stuff like that on set. And um, some of those set teachers are like really like for reals but anyway we used to have to do school and stuff like that on set and um i don't even remember how i got oh on set i would see that some of the kids like i was still in public school so i was like you know doing what we would have to do is go to our teachers like the day before or something like that or if you already know like what your stuff looks like, like if you already know you have a project or something, you have homework due. Anyway, we would bring that and work on that for like the days that we're missing and stuff like that. But I would see some other kids, cause you know, you miss school a lot doing acting. So like for like seven days and like, but like numerous times. So a lot of kids were already being homeschooled. And I remember seeing like a certain program that they would be on and then I was like, when I was like fed up with high school, I was like, let me look at this, what's this? Like, I saw real life people on it, like, you know what I mean? So, I know a guy who graduated from it, like, you know, so, and I like, felt like it was like a trustworthy thing, and it was, obviously. Well, it's like, you know, online schools aren't just like, crap, like they have to register with the government. I mean, unless you go to one that's not registered with the government. Yeah, so I just kind of put myself in online schooling and just did that and I was just kind of over it, like just ready to do me. I just want to be like completely honest about it, just between in three months, which is like really, really cool, I guess. <laughs> um, it's like, I, it's just kind of settling in. Um, I'm not going to college for right now, by the way, just because I feel like what, like, what am I gonna go there and do? You know what I mean? Like, if I go there and do some high school type of stuff, which I probably would not be in remedial classes, like I'm sure. Anyway, if I went in there and learned some freaking geography or something like that, I just like would not be like, like, I'd be like, I don't wanna, it just, I feel like it was too, it's too soon for me. Like, just coming out of high school, at least. It's just too soon. Like, I left that place for, like, early. So what am I gonna go to, like, college for, at least for right now? Like, I don't feel like, the only thing that I would wanna study there is philosophy. And that's really it, for real. I don't know anything about what I wanna do at all. So here's, here's me getting real deep in this deep discussions, you know? Cause this is what I'm gonna call this series where I just sit down and I just kind of talk with you guys and tell you guys like, like what's up? Like, I don't know <laughs> what I want to do with my life. And it, it drives me crazy because 
I actually like if somebody asked me, you know, yesterday I was watching this um, interview of uh, who was it? Was it um, Suede Brooks with this person? This person, this guy, Cameron something. I don't remember his last name quite right now. I just like found his channel like the other day, so you know, give me a break. Cameron with a K I was interviewing Suede Brooks and he had asked her like at some point he was like oh like what did well what did you want to do when you were 12 and she was like uh, be on the cheer team or she was she said something like that like where it was like she wasn't thinking about a career and he was like wow that's crazy yeah because like when you're 12 you're thinking about you know like playing video games or something like no when I was 12 um, I I think I had already written a novel by then. Um, was so destined to be an obstetrician, like I already knew I needed to go to school for 11 years just about, and that I needed to do, you know, like two years of residency, and I needed to do this many years of that, and da, 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 da. I needed to get a BA in biology of any kind and that, you know, blah, blah, blah. blah that I wanted to work in a hospital, not a private practice, and da, da 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 I already knew all that stuff. I had that stuff figured out. I kind I think I wanted to go to the University of Washington, Seattle, and I, or I wanted to go to the University of um, Madison, Wisconsin. Don't ask me why I wanted to go to school in Wisconsin. Just like, I don't know. I was really set on that since like seventh grade. I really wanted to live in Wisconsin. I don't really, feel that that kind of way right now but I maybe just because I like cold climates or something like that but I like was so destined to be this thing and it wasn't like hard to like it's not like like I wanted to be many things like my mom personally has worked so many different kinds of jobs like so many like like she told me she's written death certificates for horses does that like you know what I mean like where do you you, you don't find that job like just anywhere like and that's just because New Yorkers, so you know, you, you hustle. I was gonna do this thing and like, or do whatever things, some things, you know what I mean? And like now I just feel like I don't know what to do. Like, I, I'm just like, like for a long while been doing nothing. And that's not cool with me personally, just because I'm not that type of person. Like I'm accomplished. I like accomplishing, you know what I'm saying? I'm ambitious and I like progress. I like progression. I like to be progressive. Like, I just like for things to keep moving forward. And anything that is not moving forward really trips me out. It gives me anxiety. Like, if things don't move forward, like, I, I start to get depressed. And, like, it's just really emotional for me because, like, in my mind, like, things have to, like, be doing this because it's, like, just not okay. If it's not, I don't know. I can do that stuff. It's just, like, I'm, like, looking inside of myself and it's, like, where is it, though? Like, where is the me who knows how to do that, who wants to do it, who can just do it? When you're an artist or whatever, you, like, you have a purpose. Like, even if that purpose is, like, like your purpose is specific to your art you know what I'm saying so your purpose at the moment may be painting the Mona Lisa but that's your purpose or whatever painting art generally speaking is your purpose or making music is your purpose or you know whatever you do that's artsy to you making YouTube videos is your purpose whatever and I feel like it's like what is my purpose right now you know what I mean like I guess I didn't really need a purpose, like need one, until right now. Well, I don't, I feel like I need a purpose. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if whatever society is saying, but I feel like I need something to, to be doing with my life, you know, or, and, or like a reason to be doing that stuff. 17 years of my life, I, I haven't had to have a purpose because my main purpose was going to school. And the thing is that like when you get to a certain age and you don't go to school any longer, that may not be this age because, you know, at this age, a lot of people are going to college. So they're gonna go to school again and then they kind of have that safety net again of, you know, right now their only purpose is to be going to college. Personally, because I don't have that, I'm straight into like my purpose is probably gonna be a job of some sort, so. 
I don't have high school as being, or any kind of school, grade school as being my purpose anymore. Like, I don't have to get up and go there every day. I'm probably not allowed to since I graduated. <laughs> I'm going to do, ooh, <laughs> I'm going to do, um, just like be making YouTube videos, share my art, share my soul with the internet, you know, from time to time, specifically every other day. <laughs> oh, I'm writing poetry. I need to be writing it every day and I don't, and it's stupid just because I don't sit down and do it, actually. That's the only reason why. Um, I've written some poems that I'm going to share with you guys on this channel. I actually may film one right now, like right after. Like you might see me exactly the same right now. Like this kind of aesthetic in the next video. Or I might wait and film it just because... I also kind of want to turn it into music, but I was like, oh, like, oh, I'm just, you know, like... It can't be that hard. <laughs> Let me just produce my own music to go with it. It's so hard. And it's just probably mostly hard because um, I don't have the correct materials. You know what I mean? You kind of need to buy like a keyboard and like, you know, those kinds of things to be able to produce music. You don't have to, of course. Like I really wanna, so I wanna make songs kind of, or like make like music to at least accompany like some of my spoken word and like my poems. It's just like, like I said, like I don't know how to produce music yet. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I'll see you guys on, what is it? Today is Monday, Tuesday, on Wednesday. I'll be uploading another video and then on Friday I'm gonna upload another video and then on Sunday I'm gonna upload another video and then on Tuesday I'm gonna upload a video because the days of the week aren't like even like that it's really frustrating to me but anyway I'm uploading like that kind of pattern so you get the gist of it and um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know if um, you guys like like this, um, obviously, and that's why you would comment, like, and subscribe. <laughs> and if you didn't like it, you know, I apologize that I even addressed you. <laughs> Um, love you guys, peace and positivity, like, better than what I said before, just now. Love you guys later. And yes, I did do that basic hand to the camera lens thing.